Hi there. I'd like to explain to you the difference between three common types of poles so you feel confident in getting the right pole for the right job because it always works better when you have the right tool for the job. It just works out better. So the first kind of pole looks like this and this is a rehab pole. We can tell the poles apart by looking at the handle and looking at the tip. So in the case of the rehab poles, the handle has this shelf on it here, and it has this ergonomic grip so that when you're in the hospital and you're trying to get the weight back up on your feet again, leaning on this shelf is really makes it easier. And having this ergonomic grip when you're so tense and gripping those handles makes it easier on your fingers. On the other end of the pole is this tip and this tip is a big flat tip and it's meant to go straight down on a hard surface like the lino in the hospital because it'll grip best that way. So if rehab is the job then rehab poles are the tools that you need, the poles that you need. The most common kind of pole looks like this. And this is called a hiking or trekking pole. And we can identify it by the shape of the handle. It's kind of got a little shape to it here. And by the fact that it has this loop strap attached to it. I think the loop strap is mainly so if the pole is dropped, they, can, they don't lose it. But this trekking, hiking or trekking pole is used when you're hiking in the wilderness and the surface is uneven. There's bumps and lumps and logs and ditches that you have to get over. So hikers like these poles because they can put them out in front of them and stabilize themselves while they get over the irregular territory. <clears throat> the action out front is irregular. irregular. They put the poles down where they need to put them. On the bottom end of the pole, the tip looks like this little cigar shape. And that shape works best on a mixed surface, like in the wilderness. There, it changes from a hard, rocky surface to a soft, mossy surface quite quickly. And this kind of a tip works on both, both of those surfaces. So if hiking or trekking is the job, then this pole is the right tool. Finally, we have this pole, and this is a pole for Nordic pole walking. And we can identify this pole by the handle, which is really skinny and barely there, because we don't really need a handle in, pole, in Nordic pole walking. And we can identify it by this unique strap, which is called the glove strap. All the cross-country skiers have these glove straps because they do the job best. And they just go on like a glove. And in Nordic style pole walking, all the pressure goes on the strap. And so these glove straps are great because all the support is right here in the palm of the hand where all the pressure goes. In Nordic pole walking, we don't death grip that handle. We have to keep our fingers off the handle so that we have this hinging action. And when you look at my other video uh, where I'm demonstrating Nordic pole walking, you'll see how this hinging action is absolutely essential to pole walking. Hey, check this out. Detachable strap, love that. Okay, now down at the bottom of a Nordic pole, we could have two tips. We have this big rubber tip if we're walking on a hard surface because it really grips on the hard surface and we can push off. Or we can have this pointy tip which grabs into the chip trail, the dirt trail, the hard sand on a beach. It grabs into the soft surface so it really grips and we can push on it. So if you are Nordic pole walking then this is the kind of pole you want to get. You want the right tool for the right job and then everything works better.